Mark Palace Theater is getting a lift, literally. The building being lifted to make way for commercial space on the ground level. And it's a meticulous endeavor that took five years of planning and will give the historic site a long future. Here's Lauren Glassberg. Curtain up means the show is about to start, but today in Times Square, it's theater up, as in a theater actually being lifted right off the ground. The theater lift consists of lifting a 1700 seat theater in its entirety. 30 feet from its current elevation. The Palace Theater, located at 47th and 7th Avenue, opened in 1903 as a vaudeville theater and was later home to shows like Oklahoma and La Cage Faux. Everybody wanted to perform here, and many, many of the most famous performers did perform here. Liza Minnelli, the Marx Brothers, Frank Sinatra. The theater is being moved 30 feet above street level to make way for retail space. This is the most heavily trafficked corner in the Western Hemisphere, and there was no retail space here. Probably the most valuable, you know, uh, commercial real estate in the world. Plus, the TXS Broadway development will include a new 46-story tower with hotel rooms, restaurants, and experiential space, including a stage facing right onto Times Square. And the Palace Theater will be tucked inside. The theater weighs approximately five million pounds. Um, what we are actually doing, the way we are lifting the uh, theater itself, is we have 34 specifically placed what we call lifting posts. Those hydraulically controlled steel posts essentially push the theater up. A five foot thick concrete cushion protects the theater from below. All of the lifting posts were 100% custom made for this installation and lift. It will take six to eight weeks to raise the Palace Theater 30 feet. The lift only moves about a quarter inch an hour. The theater will then undergo a $50 million renovation, a small part of this more than $2.5 billion project in Times Square. Lauren Glass.